This morning's conversation with the angels is kind of a fun one. This one's been coming up with client sessions, and so it makes sense that it would just land here. Whether we call them guides from beyond, angels, archangels, whatever, how to connect with them, how to be closer to that. Now I'm going to preface this in the story of Kelly by saying this. Every pointing is a tool to this which is nameless. So don't ever get caught in the idea that the thing we're pointing to here is an option. Is it? It can never be spoken about for as soon as we name it, it becomes part of a separate thing. And we all know that just isn't true. So with that in mind, in the story of Kelly, prior to her near-death experience, being able to have these conversations was not the norm. Of course, getting to this place where it is the norm has been a progression or so it appears throughout the last 15 years since that near-death experience. The guidance team, which she refers to as the God Squad, which the angels are a part of, navigate this. She does not. She, the avatar, is merely the body allowing this to experience all of it. And the tools that are afforded in that process are gifts from beyond. Our physicality, all of the things that we have in the material world at our absolute disposal are part of this. So it's beautiful to get to use them. There's no harm in that. There's only the realization that none of it is true or it becomes part of the suffering. So with all of that said, how can we utilize the tools we have before us to really connect to these beings that we think are somewhere separate from us? some space away from us versus a vibration right here with us. Kelly likes to tell clients to get a candle. And you can do this whether you're working with guides, angels, or even your loved ones on the other side. Light that candle with an intention. And the only intention is this. I am opening myself to the door which no man can shut, which I am an eternal part of. I am using this candle, recognizing that it is only but a tool. It holds no power or authority whatsoever. And I invite it to bring forward the vibration which I am currently seeming unable to tap into. Given that this candle is a visual presence, by invoking that, you're recognizing that the candle has absolutely no power. None of the tools here do. Yet they all afford us the visual aid to trust that which can't be seen. Sit with that candle and notice as it moves and pulses and dances with some of the gentle breezes around you and state, I am calling forward my God squad, my guidance system, my angels, the archangels, the ascended masters, 
anyone here helping with guidance from the other side, surrounded only in and of love of God. And I invite you to be here energetically now and show yourself in loving ways that I can understand. Now, this is a beautiful lesson because what you're doing is trusting the internal guidance system. You're not putting your trust in the flame of the candle. You are a part of that internal guidance system you've just invoked this command to. And now you can begin to play with it. Asking questions. Often it's perfect to start with very basic yes, no questions. I love to phrase them this way. I am correct in understanding that. And that way it's a yes or a no. Now to begin this, you want to find your yes and your no. So I ask, I am correct in understanding that this is the way you will show me yes. And then pause. Notice if the flickering goes in one direction. And then thank it, clear it, and ask, I am correct in assuming that this is the way you will present to me no. And then pause and notice. And now you've established your yes and your no. That's as far as you should go in this first kind of establishing of this energy work that you're doing with the flame. Noting that that is never separate from all that is. So all you're simply doing is invoking something that appears external to you to relay an energy that you are a part of. Many people get freaked out by this. They think it's witchcraft or you're invoking something outside of yourself. But challenge that. If you are all of this, which you are, and you are an energy, a vibration, which is scientific fact. What are you evoking other than a lightness of being that you're a part of? A reflection of God, a spark of the divine. Now, as you do this, this is just training wheels, guys. Don't get tied to it. Use it and then throw it away like everything else. Your internal understanding and intuitive tapping into the knowledge that is infinite and boundless to you will start to expand in this space. These fingers pointing to moon are just to play with. They're just to use the amazing gifts that we have here in the dreamscape. Don't let them become your primary knowledge base. Use them and discard them. I hope that's helpful today. Let me know if it's helpful today. I love sharing these messages and I love hearing your responses to them. What's the feedback? What did you find when you attempted this? What was your experience of reaching a yes and a no? Did you feel like you started to get some contact with all that you are appearing as one separate thing? Would love to hear. Much love. Until next time.